Hey guys, welcome to Tarot and Heal. Welcome to the place where we tarot and heal our way to self-love and unity consciousness. Welcome to your full moon in Taurus reading. I hope all is well. Let's get started. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is the overall theme for the full moon in Taurus? Thank you. I'm burning incense right next to the the camera so you're gonna see that I like the ambiance of the smoke mm. we have play coming out there's a need to lighten up the mood laugh more <laughs> We have the outlaw. Okay, these are two like opposing energies for me at least. Because the outlaw is, mm, okay, the energy of getting wild. Getting wild and doing things out of the ordinary. All right. Getting out of the comfort zone. All right. Um, with the Taurus energy, it's a very, it's a fixed energy, right? Um, and they're used to comfort. They're used to being they they enjoy routines okay out of all the earth signs so there's a need to not fall too much into that okay with the outlaw this is breaking out getting wild despite that with the dolphins in in play see dolphins are very playful right but they're super intelligent as well so it doesn't mean like get wild and just get reckless some of you guys have an idea that really gets you going okay and there's a need to say fuck it and do it okay it's not about it's like structured fun <laughs> it's structured recklessness organized chaos all right it's not like oh, i'm just gonna blow money on on blow and, and hookers <laughs> It's like, no, I'm going to take this investment and um, take a risk, but it's a calculated risk, okay? So it's like calculated play. Knowing when it's time to jump out of your comfort zone and know when it's time to do what the regular, your regular status quo is. Some of you guys are being led to do something that makes your heart sing, okay? But it's out of the ordinary. Some people might look at it like it seems random, but it's not random at all. This is why you have to reevaluate your priorities. Reevaluate what's more important to you. Is it going for the path that makes your heart sing or going for the status quo? Too many cards. What's that? Grieve your losses in a process. As you reevaluate your priorities, you realize what gives you the return on your investment and what doesn't. You're going to, certain things are going to fall to the wayside. Certain things that are going to show itself as not as important on the scale. Once you put yourself first. It's like if you were doing things, if you were... If you're chasing money for status, for example, right? If you awaken to the concept of it not being that important and money being energy, then you'll start moving in a certain way, okay? Then the security of a nine to five would no longer be up there on the, on the list of priorities. It might it'll get knocked down. The results of that, things, people, priorities, the people that you had as a priority, they might get knocked down because now you're putting yourself first. So just deal with the emotional fallout that comes from that. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> so what have we created since the new moon? we created since the new moon 
Nine of Pentacles, the independence. Mm. This is making yourself a priority. So that's what was highlighted so far. Mm. Yeah, making yourself a priority and breaking away from the status quo with the Hierophant card coming out in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse in this case, in connection with the Nine of Pentacles, breaking away from the pack. The Hierophant can be Soul Tribe energy, okay? In the original deck, it's like a Pope-like character and two people here. It's like family, it's structure, it's the job that you've been at for a really long time. It's long-term connections, all right? The reality that you've held on to long-term. Now someone's breaking out of it. We're being led to break out of it with the Nine of Pentacles to follow whatever it is, our own personal pursuit. With the Nine of Pentacles, I love this energy because this is a solo card. And this is, I talked about this being a solo journey that jump off the cliff. Caution to the wind and just jumping off the cliff and hoping that the wings come. Having faith that the wings will come. This could be leaving a job and starting your own business. Whatever it is that you're being led to, with the Nine of Pentacles here, this is a successful card, okay? Whatever you're being led to jump to, it is going to lead to a level of freedom that you haven't had before. More emotional space to tend to your own, okay? All right, where are we now? success okay ten of pentacles major stability here that's what we're being led to we have to walk away from stability to go into something that is true stability okay we had a false sense of security and now we're stepping into true stability which is our soul's mission okay Queen of Cups coming out with the Nine of Cups. So some of us are looping off of leaving this sense of security. Hmm. So I'm noticing the greens here, right? This is what we're being led to, right? With the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> this is all, the Nine of Pentacles here, right? That independent card. This is like the, gra you see the green here? This is like, all the security that someone's being buried in, all right? And they're trying to climb out of the security to fly off into the wind, right? You even see the rock here, right? It's like this security is actually holding someone down from flying. So where are we now? With the security, we do have this blue, look at this blue energy coming through. Something that lit up our fire. With the Queen of Cups energy in reverse, it seems as if it's throwing us for a loop. We might be ignoring what our intuition is telling us with the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Nine of Cups. With the Nine of Cups, that is the energy of a wish fulfillment. As mentioned, this, this path that's real security, that's going to give us real security, but it comes through the package of play. All right. It comes through the pla the package of this outlaw path. It comes through the package of doing something like random, where it's like, whoa, what are you doing? And it's like, no, this is actually the surest thing I've ever been sure about in my fucking life. It sounds random to you, but it's real to me, you know, and it's going to be those moments that we have to have. I think right now it's like trying to prioritize, reprioritize, restructure, and see what's really important to us. We're trying to gauge how important is that new path 
compared to our security, our sense of security. I think if we've learned anything so far, we know that ain't shit secure. <laughs> All right. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Hmm. Six of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. Clarifying this Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a very intuitive energy. <clears throat> it's coming out in reverse. This is like going with your heart. Going with the flow of things, okay? It requires cooperation with the Spirit, with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, the Three of Pentacles is about building, networking, okay? But in this case, coming out with this intuitive Queen of Cups energy, this is co-creating, it's cooperating with Spirit, with the spiritual path that's being set out for you. Six of Wands is coming out in reverse. This is a card of feeling on top, feeling on top of your game, feeling confident, okay? This is also a card of being, um, of ego, Whatever we're being led to, it's going to feel different from what we usually do. That's why this outlaw energy is coming out here. It's something that will be out of the ordinary, even for us. We would look at it like, whoa, that's not something I would normally do. And especially the people around us, they really like, hold up, are you okay? Let me, let me feel your head, you all right? <laughs> it's an opportunity that's coming through via play. But it's actually it's the, the most sure thing, the most sure path. But it's making you stretch out of your comfort zone. This wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, is making you stretch. What's coming to us now? Ten of Wands, dropping the burdens. Ten of Wands in a verse. That's self-explanatory, right? As we reprioritize what's important to us, as this wish fulfillment comes to the forefront and it takes us out of our comfort zone, we're going to have to prioritize our life with this wish fulfillment in our life now. What's important, sacrifices will have to be made, okay? Whether it's connections, whether it's, um, you know, whatever it is that you're used to. Now we have to reevaluate. Cut our losses. Grieve the losses, okay? That's the process of dropping the burden here. What's no longer serving us? By the way, um, of course I already did this reading. Um, but it, it ended up being like a divine counterpart reading. So that's just going to be a bonus full moon reading. Um, but this will be the actual full moon reading. The, the other one, even though I talk about it as full moon in Taurus, it really is just a divine count counterpart reading. Some people are going through unions. So that will, if that applies to you and you like, oh, speaking of which, the lover's coming out. Anyway, if you, if you want to check that out, that'll be up. Or I don't know when I'm gonna, what I'm going to post first. I'll probably post it, air, premiere this right after. All right, um, what's no longer serving? Eight of Pentacles and Eight of, Eight of Pentacles in the verse and the love is caught in the prayers. Yeah, all right, we're still trying to rip ourselves away from the security. That's pretty much it. How can we release and let go? Two of Pentacles and the Emperor card. Now, what's crazy is that when I was meditating on the energy and, and pre-shuffling, okay, the bottom of the deck had the Empress. Now we have the Emperor coming out. Okay, with the two of pentacles. Some of you guys, okay, so I guess this is why I had to bring up, well, I was just led to bring up the divine counterpart reading because now this is looking like this is what's coming through. Some of you guys have to sacrifice something to um, go into union with whoever, um, whether it's a twin flame. I don't really want to throw out twin flame word, um, terms like that, um, but it's, it's someone that at least you're supposed to be with in this time, <laughs> okay? It's um, whatever. A solid soulmate. Anyway, so you see the, the eyes locking in, all right? It's something about this is happening here. Keep your eyes on a prize here. Keep your eyes on whatever this thing that's bringing you into alignment, whatever this wish fulfillment is. For some of you guys, it's a person. Some of you guys, um, based on these past love readings, a lot of you guys have um, your fire was lit by a separate path. 
some of you guys were in relationships and someone else let you fire and you realize what a real soulmate looked like okay whatever the case is it's time it you need to keep reminding yourself of that feeling okay so you can re reprioritize your um what you want moving forward this is bigger than love a lot of people are being led to their a divine I don't want to say these terms whatever they're being led to soulmates but it's it's like they're I think I mentioned that they're um, the soulmates are like luring people in okay soulmates are luring their people their persons in but it's really luring them into an ascension okay so let's say one person is more awake than the other okay this person with the the awake one would catch the person's eye and it'll lure them in like a siren <laughs> i feel like the feminines are doing this okay the feminines are like hey come here i gotta show you something <laughs> and then once they get to the other side waking up okay um i feel like a lot of feminines are providing that that um catalyst it's so it's all for the sake of unions coming together because they're so they're the the combination of their energies are supposed to enhance the energy of the collective all right but the 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 benefits of that is having a beautiful love okay but it's bigger than the love between you two as individuals All right, what is a blockage? It's very poetic, right? Like, this universe, man. It's fucking poetic. What's a blockage here? Hmm. Emperor coming out. All right. This is about to turn back into the the, the divine part, uh, counterpart reading. The Empress coming out again as a blockage along with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, let me look into the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys might be in third party situations. Some of you might not be. There is a Queen of Wands bitter type of energy um, that is surrounding the Emperor. It could be the Emperor themselves. They could have this Queen of Wands kind of bitter energy within them that they have to work on. Okay, if you're the Emperor um, in this situation, masculine, feminine, it doesn't matter. But if you're the emperor in this situation, then you might be having some some pains that you have to work through. Or you might have someone around you who is carrying a bit of a... Let's look into it. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Emperor coming out again. <sighs> hmm. a lot of cards so the emperor might have some, I mean this is the same fucking story <laughs> the emperor has someone who's trying to hold on to them all right it might be manipulative in doing it all right move on what else is next Jesus Christ what's the queen of wands about Tell me more about the queens, queen of wands. Yeah, trying to stop the progress. Trying to stop the, okay. Some of you guys, all right. Some of you guys, you stepped into emperor's mode, okay. Um, and your emperor is probably now stepping into emperor mode. They were probably a king of wands before. So they had this queen of wands that they were matched with. All right. Um, whether they're still with them or not, it doesn't matter. But the Queen of Wands is feeling this emperor become better and grow out of whatever connection that they had. So they're trying to hold on to it with the Knight of Wands here, trying to stop the progress, stop their growth, stunt their growth. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Mm -mm -mm. I love the ambiance right now. I'm here for it. All of it. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's either that person is causing um, causing guilt and resentment in the emperor, okay, when they want to move on, 
or the emperor is just doing this to themselves, okay? It's some type of resentment or guilt, a regret, whatever the case is, is stopping them from actually coming full form into emperor mode and really embracing it. Tell me more about the emperor. Yeah, it's like the loss, the loss of it. Okay, five of pentacles with the six of pentacles. It's like, okay, I got the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. This person has to make a final judgment call. Judgment card coming out in reverse. Okay, along, this is what the emperor needs to do. Make a final judgment call about what's giving them equal reciprocity, what's fair, what's right, what's just, and what needs to be dropped off, okay? They don't want to feel this loneliness or they don't want to put someone else in a situation of feeling left out in the cold, okay? They don't want to sacrifice. Someone has to sacrifice this queen. before they move forward and it'll be a result of reevaluating re their priorities whatever is equal reciprocity for them they're realizing what makes them happy what doesn't okay what is what is a balance in a in a love or whatever what feels like real alignment that's causing them to reevaluate all right but they're gonna have to grieve that loss all right what are they failing to see what are we failing to see Here we are, 21. Let's go into the blockage for the Divine Feminine. Because I didn't do that in the last reading. But clearly this is, the full moon in Taurus is about Divine Counterparts. So let's do it. Alright. Alright. What is the blockage for the, um, for the Divine Feminine? Seven of Cups and Knight of Swords. All right, so while the masculine is going through this, the feminine is here. Kind of confused, Seven of Cups, probably entertaining a bunch of options. Knight of Swords doesn't seem like there's much progress, okay? It could be just using some distractions, okay, with the Sun card, but still being happy. If you're not in that energy, then you need to learn how to be happy, okay? And learn how to um, find contentment within yourself while this is happening on their end. Let go. Let go of the result and realize that you can be happy anyway. All right? Let go of the result of thinking you've met your um, wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups and still move forward. Move full steam ahead. Do not wait. Four of Pentacles. This person cannot stop your happiness. Whether they choose to come through or not, they cannot stop your happiness. All right? All right. What is the masculine feeling to see? See that King of Wands coming out again. Mm-hmm. All right. They need major clarity here. Once again, they're being blocked. Eight of Wands. But they're coming out with the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Like I said, they were a match at one point. Okay, now they're stepping, they're raising their vibration. So now they're they're matching up with, because they're, ma they're raising up to Emperor Mode. They're matching up with Empress energy. Five of Swords. Okay. They, um, this could be a defeatist energy. It could be a, what's Five of Swords here? Mm, okay. It could be a deceptive energy too. They need to realize the error of their ways and realize that they're course correcting, that this is cosmic correction, okay? Because whatever was happening before was a bit deceptive with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords here, all right? They, they need to realize the error of their ways of thinking. They need to walk away from that. So... They're, they, were a king of, they were in King of Wands and they stepped into Emperor mode or they're in the process of it. They need to make sure that they're out of King of Wands thinking. They need to be able to identify what's King of Wands thinking and what's Emperor thinking, okay? Some of them might be going back and forth between the two ways of being the two worlds. Mm, speaking of the two, the two of Wands coming out with the Knight of Cups. They have to completely just release themselves from the King of Wands energy that's within them 
<laughs> but if they release themselves from the King of Wands energy, that's going to cut the ties of the Queen of Wands. And that part is what's holding them up. Eight of Wands, they're stopping the flow. They're stopping the cosmic flow here because of that. That's what they're looping on. Like if I grow, if I grow out of this person, then I won't have this person anymore. For some, it, it could be a person, it could be multiple people, it could just be the, the environment that, they, that they're that they in. They know, whoever this, the masculines, they know that once they change, once they make this change, it'll shift everything, right? They'll have to move in the world differently. They'll hold themselves accountable, okay? Now it's like, do I really want this level of responsibility? Do I want to be this, do I want to be on this level? Or do I want to just stay where I'm at and keep doing what I'm doing, which was being deceptive? All right. I feel like they put that put that in the past because it's coming out in reverse. I feel like they, they realize the error in their ways and they're changing. But now they're realizing what their maturity means for the choices of people that they made that they've uh, met so far. The love interests specifically. Their maturity Okay, they're growing out. Okay. <laughs> it's a growing out of people. The growing out of a relationship. Growing out of things. Okay. That's becoming blaringly obvious. They're just going through that. They have to go through the transition and grieving. Realize what's more important. You can't. They already made the transition to emperor. Now it's just like, okay, how, how does this translate in a real life sense? This means that I probably won't be hanging out with them anymore like that. You know, they, they really don't have anything for me. Like, you know, I can't do, I got to put these old ways behind me. It's like they're, they're really reevaluating what that means moving forward. And to others, it's going to look like, oh, you acting brand new. Hell yeah, I'm mature now. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, what's going on with the Divine Feminine? What's, what are they feeling to see? Ten of Wands and a Moon card. I feel like they're feeling to see that process is happening with the masculine behind the scenes. With the Moon card coming out, there's a lot of um, moving parts that the feminine is not seeing. All right? They're not seeing that there's a process of this person dropping these burdens. But you know what? I mean, what I love about this feminine energy is like, this is healthy. Because it's like, okay... I see what you're doing, but I'm going to be happy anyway. All right. All right. I don't know what's happening with the moon card. I don't know what you're doing over there, but I ain't even going to think about it. I ain't even going to trip. I'm going to keep it moving. Knight of Swords here. And the Knight, the Knight of Swords, which is moving full steam ahead, and the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is no longer thinking about it, okay? It's like, okay, I realize I don't know what's happening. But I'm not going to let this be a burden. I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to keep moving forward. That's the best way to be. And if feminines, if you haven't gotten into that energy, you will be led to. You will have an opportunity to do so with this full moon Taurus. Just keep that in mind. This is an energy to carry. All right? Tell me more about the moon card. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, cool. All right, so yeah. Wait, sorry. Something about the moon card. Mm. Okay, so yeah. Um, so with the moon card, we have the hermit card coming out. It's like either the feminine is being put into hermit mode. I feel like the the masculine is what the masculine might be going in hermit mode. And leaving the feminine in the dark with the moon card here. Realizing, not not realizing that they're doing a whole lot of work with the eight of pentacles. To try and drop this burden, okay? The burden of this, uh, whatever their, their old self 
has attracted now they have to start cutting off ties they have to start handling that okay so that they can have their upgrade with the world card so that they can fully embody the emperor mode what's the advice for the masculine two of pentacles once again that eye to eye face to face but they're bouncing in between between two worlds they're still bouncing between king of wands see but the bouncing is is fake because they're already in emperor mode now anytime if they're acting like king of wands it's just like a regress a little bit or see it's like internally they're already emperor right but it, it hasn't shown itself in the the physical world yet they haven't done the things like their actions might not have changed like that as of yet to match up to the emperor energy that they that they feel so it's like they they might be at home they might be moving like emperor right but once they get around people who are used to them being king of wands they might still move like the king of wands you know that's what's happening there bouncing juggling in between two worlds okay don't keep juggling you got the queen of cups right here okay you have your wish fulfillment on the line don't juggle for too long don't bounce up in between two worlds for too long all right let's two of pentacles here they're going back and forth a shit ton with the death card coming out in reverse in the two of pentacles two of pentacles and the death okay um bouncing in between like I need to close this door. I need to see the death card is not just ending things. This could be ending a relationship. Yeah, some of them might be ending a relationship, but the ending of a relationship is a is a, a spiritual marker. Okay, it's bigger than just a relationship. I keep saying this is bigger than love. Okay, when they end this relationship, they're ending a part of them. Okay. So it's a major, it's a major decision. And I don't even know, I mean, I'm sure they realize the, the severity of it, but you won't really know until you actually switch over from, from the death to the rebirth. So this becomes upright and you actually embrace the new, the other side of it. Then you're gonna realize how much was on the line. Some people don't realize that and that's why they're still juggling here. But that's why it's important for you to reevaluate. Just know what your heart is telling you with the Queen of Cups here. What is setting your heart on fire? That's alluring you. You might not know why it's alluring you, but it is. It's taking you to something bigger. It's like the tip of the iceberg. Some people, some masculines, they might find a feminine very attractive. They're just like, I don't know what it is. I'm just so attracted to them, blah, blah, blah. Not realizing just a, the attractiveness is just a, the tip of the iceberg. There's way more that's supposed to happen between you two, okay? Um, but yeah, this is a major death and rebirth. Like, your life won't be the same type of energy. <laughs> unfamiliar territory uncharted territory this is not like oh, I'm, I'm ending a relationship and I'm going into a new relationship where I don't know who they are I gotta figure out what they like what they dislike no this is like a whole new way of being in the world as stepping in as Emperor you're going to see the world differently and the world is gonna look at you differently okay and you're gonna you're gonna perceive the world differently a totally different way and it's something that you won't be able to you can't fathom until you get to the other side so stop juggling masculines all right do what you got to do here we are with the empress coming out the empress is here all right all right what's the um what's the advice for the divine feminine oh gosh Ooh, girl don't wait baby all right what's the world card Listen, if it's not them, it's going to be someone else. <laughs> I'm going to just say that right now. That's why I don't want to get caught up in a twin flame because you get caught up in the person. You get caught up in the avatar. Don't get caught up in the avatar, all right? It's, it's an energy, all right? Um, let me take a sip before I say this. You have a certain connection with someone right and you're like oh man it's them it's them you know but they carry an energy 
that can go that that can go through a bunch of people if that makes sense okay so you can have a 1.0 version right and then a 2. Point, if the 1.0 don't step up to 2.0 then that energy will go into a 2.0 version so don't get caught up in the vessel that this connection is coming through is deeper than that is deeper than the person the package that this connection is coming through if that makes sense I'm saying all that to say this we have the world card coming out in a verse we have the wheel of fortune coming out in a verse and then we have the four of cups the feminines see like I said there's an opportunity here for you to say damn that sucks but I'm happy anyway damn I don't know what they're doing but I'm gonna keep it moving anyway these cards the world and the wheel of fortune these major cards of transformation and upgrade are right here for you it's coming out in a verse it seems like you're pausing on your own upgrade because of this the four of cups because you're holding on to this connection do not do that do not wait if you get anything else from this if you get nothing else from this message feminines do not wait if it's not them it will be another person back to the energy in the mercury scorpio retrograde reading where you are we're all in this one we all in our single car driving to the cliff you met someone who could possibly be jump to the other side too if they don't you will jump over to the other side and find someone else okay don't get caught up in the avatar of this person and think that they are the only that energy that connection will as you upgrade that connection will follow you okay whether it's with this person or with someone else all right don't the four of cups this is like hanging feeling disappointed about missing out on this opportunity and that disappointment is stopping you from moving on to your upgrade do not do that the universe card this is similar to the death card here okay do not allow for anyone to stop you from going into your empress mode Especially because it seems like the masculine, even though they might not be saying it, they're they're preparing to come to you. So now if you if they're preparing to come to you and you're still you haven't done your own work, now what? Like do your work. So the sun card, if you don't feel you don't feel happy about it, fine, do it anyway. We do have the temperance card. Follow your divine guidance. The six of wands you do you will have a victory here whether it's with them or with someone else it doesn't matter okay run your race if it's not them it will be someone else you will find that connection all right it's a lot of cards here all right let's see what is a power animal for the masculine what is a power animal for the feminine Power animal for the masculine. Bring a gentle touch. Dear spirit. <laughs> Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Okay. This is quiet confidence. This is emperor energy. This combination here is very soft energy and then it's very fierce energy. This is the balance between masculine and feminine. This is what they're stepping into. They might have been very heavy in their masculine energy. Now they're learning how to be more gentle with their power. That's beautiful. Keep doing that. That's what you're supposed to do. And people who line up with this type of strength, where you don't have to be on this bravado type of energy, the people who line up with this and respect it, that's who you rock with. What's the advice for? What's a power animal for the feminines? Buffalo spirit. Yes, the universe will provide. The abundant universe. The abundant universe will provide. If it's not them. All right. Stop playing. Turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Some of you guys might be losing patience. Whatever the case is. It's fine. Be here now. Hummingbird spirit. That's the energy of like, yo, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm going to be happy anyway. Find a hobby. All right. Y'all better start knitting or some shit. 
all right? Learn how to grow some, I don't know, do something, all right? But find a way to be happy anyway, because that is the name of the game anyway. We have to learn how to be happy, be solid within ourselves. Both sides have to learn this. Yeah. Um, what is the, what do the romance angels have to say? About the connection? Parts of hard conversations. Hon honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You okay? See, the masculine might be, somebody's going in hermit mode. Maybe both of you guys, it might be a chain reaction because the masculine is going in hermit mode. The feminine might be doing it. Um, and now it's just like, it could be a standstill where nobody's talking. There's a need to have more communication. Be honest, be vulnerable, especially masculine energy. You have this, you have this power, but this ability to be gentle. Okay. There's a need for you to be more, be thoughtful about the feminine. Okay. See, the feminine might feel rejected while the masculine is trying to work things out. But if they just told the feminine, like, hey, let me just work some things out real quick and I'll be right back. Then it would cause, it, it would, um, it would, uh, mitigate. Is that the word? I don't know. Why is that the word I want to say? But it will, it would, um, handle everything. It would, y'all know what word I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay. So for the full moon Taurus, what it's romantic as, definitely wants to talk about this divine counterpart. That's fine. Whatever. Engagement. Your love life is um, ascending to a higher level of commitment. That's what it's all about. All right. Um, as it's, it's, it's ascending to a high, higher level of commitment because we're reevaluating. Okay. We're reevaluating what makes us really happy. So because of that, we're drawing in that thing. All right. And releasing whatever our old self was tethered to. All right. This is awesome. This is nice. Nice reading. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Add me on IG. That's Tyrone Hill. Um, if you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. I do those. All right. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. All right. Thank you so much. I will be having Patreon content soon. I'll be announcing that. But in the meantime, right now, it's just a tier to be an angel donor. All right. Thank you so much. And until we meet again, peace.